Well, you know, it was in 1959 when they started building the Arecibo Observatory, 63 when they finished building it and it saw first light. But what led up to that time of starting in 1959? Well, the key person here was Bill Gordon. What Bill Gordon said is, hey, if we build a big enough, fine enough, high quality instrument, we'll be able to use a different return from the atmosphere, incoherent scatter. Something new that hadn't been done before and is not that easy to do. Now you might say, why so big for doing this incoherent scatter? It was the beginning of the space age. Asteroids are moving in space, not only orbiting around the sun, but they are also rotating. So with Bennu and Osiris Rex and DART mission and this legacy of our sea where we had a record number of detections in the last few years, now what? La ciencia está llena de misterios y tratamos de buscar soluciones a estas preguntas. Was there any doubt among scientists about whether this was a good project? There's a lot of work to be done. What would have happened if we didn't have those radio observations? So as I see it, there's a lot of mysteries in the universe that we need to solve. The tool, that is, the physical instrument, but what it left behind will be part of mankind for generations to come.